Hey everyone, this is my Patreon Power Reaction to the 5th episode of High Score Girl. Now, last episode we met new girl Koharu, a blonde girl that we were kind of teaching the joy of video games to. And she's having fun with that. And just blushing and getting sick and stuff. It's, it's great. So, yeah, let's just get into this episode and see what sort of video game activities will be done today with our characters. 3, 2, 1, play. <laughs> well, she's a busy girl. <laughs> oh yeah, they gave each other gifts, so... It's nice that she's happy about that. Well, of course. Where else would he go? A shrine? <laughs> Yeah, I bet. <laughs> a little bit scary. Get an eye, I guess, is going for it too. Oh wow, pretty good. You know, you like watch them have fun talking about games. Is it Mortal Kombat? Yeah, that's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Again, a game I actually played. <laughs> I still have Mortal Kombat for my Super Nintendo. The cover art's torn off and stuff, but it's the game. What if he worth it to grab real quick during the opening? Uh, probably not. K O. Let's see, what Super Nintendo games do I have left? I know I have Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Super Mario Kart. I used to have All-Stars in Super Mario World, but I gave those away with my Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, I have Zelda Link to the Past. That's one of my favorite Zelda games. My favorite Zelda game is Ocarina of Time, though. <laughs> what the heck? Is that chocolate? Is that a character covered in chocolate? Not that one character. Uh, Onizuka. Perhaps. Looks a little bit like that character. Round five. First time for everything? Just try to have fun. <laughs> yeah, that would be a great excuse. <laughs> uh, better than nothing, I guess. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's a cool-looking machine. Yeah, I definitely recognize that loading screen. That, uh, you know, character selection screen. I think Scorpion was my favorite character to play. Although Raiden was really cool too. <laughs> oh god, I actually get to see a game that I've played a decent amount of. It's definitely a different experience. <laughs> yes, that was always the best move. Just slamming him against the wall. Because I have Street Fighter, but I didn't play much of it. But Mortal Kombat I definitely played a lot of. Get over here! Come on, you scorpions, move. <laughs> uh, 
Come on, Scorpion, use a, a move. Please. You, you must do it. It's <laughs> not exactly what he said. <laughs> I never actually tried to pronounce that before, but it is pretty... Pretty silly, whatever he says. <laughs> uh, finish him. Let's use a fatality. Man, Scorpion didn't do anything cool. Uh, <laughs> that was really funny. Ain't been the funniest thing in the show so far. <laughs> then attempt to say the, what he says. You gotta pick Johnny Cage, Sonya, Sub Zero, Scorpion. Yes. <laughs> Come on, use scor cool scorpion moves. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Get over here. That's what I wanted. Yes, yeah, she needs a fatality. That's for the coolest. Wow, she's actually doing it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Scorpion wins. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty lucky. I want to see someone play Sub Zero now. Remember with Sub Zero, you could like freeze somebody, and then if you try to freeze them again, it like froze you. It was really cool. Still remembering her. <laughs> well, that was sudden. Don't break the machine. Yeah. It's called Gamer Rage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> That's the best reason to pick someone. What are you talking about? Oh god. Bad touch. Well, that's a cheap way to fight. Just scratch. Crouch. Uh, crouch in. The word. I would love for you to expose his character. That'd be great. <laughs> oh no, they've been cornered. <laughs> Sliding kick spam sounds like the worst. <laughs> Impressed. <laughs> Uh. Oh wow, that's a move. <laughs> Just hit all the buttons. Man, you penetrated that girl. I saw. Impressive. Uh, you have something to say? Yeah, I knew this would escalate to a real fight. <laughs> he knew it as well. <laughs> and now the game is coming to 3D. <laughs> uh, you spin me right round. We were fighting. You have a problem with that. <laughs> I 
We're just all having fun. It's all good fun. A little bit early to decide that. And that's not true. I know that's not true. That blushing and little wet eye tells me otherwise. She looks like a girl in love if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I guess that's... That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Very positive-minded. Again, not true. You don't think about something you don't care about as you're falling asleep at night. Especially not while blushing. No! <laughs> uh oh. You knew who you were talking about. I would assume so, but... Oh. <laughs> Is he deep in thought? I think you're jumping to conclusions. You should probably talk to him. You never know. I mean, he's here to play games, but you don't know it's only what he's here for. Maybe he wants to see you, his new girlfriend, apparently. According to your father. Grandfather, whatever that was. <laughs> you win. Yes, you want him to be devoted to you. Well, that, that makes gaming a bit harder. But, you know, definitely not impossible. <laughs> nope, we're, we're playing this game. Well, maybe you should go out there and talk to him. <laughs> oh, wow, she is adorable. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I I guess it's her imagination. <laughs> yeah. I doubt he would say exactly that, but he might call you down for something. <laughs> oh man, this girl is something special. <laughs> there she is. She's down there. Take more than a blizzard to stop my gaming session. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we already established that, you know, he's an idiot. <laughs> oh. Wow. No wonder he calls him your boyfriend. If we're willing to feed him. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to talk to me, I'm here too. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> YAG. Well, aside from her interrupting you, I guess. It's determination. <laughs> that's messed up. That's not cool. That's not cool. Well, the blizzard's over. Hearts. Valentine's Day? 14, yeah, definitely Valentine's Day 2, 14. February 14th. Okay, I guess Gohardo might be giving somebody some chocolates, perhaps. We'll see. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to say that. But you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> well, here's your Baka Ona for you.
Almost made me spit on my water. Well, <laughs> I was right about it being Onizuka, but... <laughs> uh-huh. Right. I don't think I'd want to eat that. Attractive ones? Non-weird ones? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh... Well, got a bit of a mess on your face. I guess chocolate's chocolate at the end of the day. So, you gotta go to his house, bring him some chocolate? Yeah, totally platonic. Totally friendship chocolate. I bet. Could be. We don't spend much time at his house, so I'm not sure. Yeah, we're either by your house or the arcade or school. We don't really see his house much. But now we got a role reversal here with her being the one outside. <laughs> I can hear the sound of him gaming up there. Oh, oh no, mom. It's Valentine's Day, yeah. To be the second girl he's brought over. <laughs> yeah, almost like he wanted to skip school or something. <laughs> she is pretty great. A little weird, but great. Playing. Ah, uh, I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> Uh, I may have also brought chocolates for you. I don't understand why people do that. They partially post something out to look at it. They just stop. Just pull the whole thing out. It bugs me. You don't need to... Pancakes! Pancakes! This seems oddly familiar. <laughs> yeah, cute girls come over, we can't just let you leave. That's something I can agree with. Just don't do anything weird to this girl, okay? <laughs> Not again. Mom, give us some privacy. Very weird movements. Yeah, because video games can heal any wound. <coughs> Family computer, Famicom. Really? I don't have, like, the box for pretty much any console I ever bought. <laughs> Aside from my Oculus Rift, if that counts. <laughs> Sounds very fun. I bet. <laughs> it's all about watching from behind. Oh, he's sticking his legs out. I was wondering what that attack was. So it was his neck before, okay. Kiki Kai Kai. Is that related to Dragon Quest in any way? 
samurai ghost. Ah. Yeah, maybe you should just get some sleep. And we're gaming. Ha, ha. Yeah, you definitely reminds you of that. Reminds us all of that. I don't remember the name of that game, but yeah. Kind of worry. I do remember it being played before in the show. Very simple title, but it gets a point across. I am curious as well. I do miss her a lot. So that's how long the time skip's been. <laughs> like your bitch and your family. Uh, that's funny. I'm gonna use that line sometime. It's been snowing a lot lately. Well, you know, it's this is complicated. There's video games, there's Akira. Did you even open the chocolate? But yeah, Street Fighter will always be the most common game in the show, I think. And the SNES version is what I have. Japan. Oh, we're going back to Akira? <laughs> he seems very happy. She definitely looks older. Keep it together, man. But yeah, apparently we finally have Akira back. You know, now that... Now that Haru has another girl in his life. I really do love this song. <laughs> But yeah, Kohara doesn't get to be in the ED. I should probably call her Hidaka because everybody else does, but I just love the name Kohara a lot, so that's what I'm calling her. There you go, he grabbed him. Fantasy zone? Good for you. I'm actually not that familiar with the Street Fighter lore. And end? Now? Okay.
Well, that was the fifth episode of High Score Girl, and this was a really good episode. Okay, yeah, we first start off with going to the arcade, I believe, you know, because that's, uh, you know, it's a great thing to do. And what game did they play? This episode, of, of note to me at least, was Mortal Kombat. Now, this show, they play a lot of retro games, and the vast majority of I've either, either never played or didn't play very much of. But Mortal Kombat, that's a different story. Because Mortal Kombat, I do have a copy of that for Super Nintendo. I still have it. I played it, you know, when that was like the newest Mortal Kombat. And I loved it. It was really fun. There wasn't a lot of characters to choose from. You know, you got like Scorpion, Scorpion Sub-Zero, Sonya, Raiden, Johnny Cage. Uh, What was the other guy's name? The kicking one? Lee? I want to say. I actually don't remember. Uh, but... The point is, yeah, Scorpion was my favorite, and that's actually the one they were playing with the most there. So that's the one where I got really into it. I'm sure if I played, you know, Street Fighter 2 as, as much as I played Mortal Kombat, I'd probably enjoy the show probably at least 35 to 40% more. But yeah, the, the Mortal Kombat bit, I got to really experience how much that adds to the experience of the show <clears throat> to actually be f very familiar with the game and have some nostalgia for it. So that was really cool. And to watch that, just see all that stuff that I'm familiar with, you know, the techniques and stuff, like Raiden just doing his jump forward thing, which was the best part of this whole this whole part, by the way, was his, the weird thing that he says that's just nonsensical. And just the funniest part of the episode, one of the funniest parts of the whole show, was them trying to say what he said and just going back and forth of what they think he said. That was just, that was amazing. That was great. That was just fantastic. <laughs> you know, just, it was all good. It was all really good. And, you know, it took forever for somebody to actually use a scorpion technique, you know, the shooting the arrow from the wrist, the whole get over here thing, and which was just, I love doing that with that character. It was amazing. Then it would just uppercut them right afterwards. That's always what I would do. And she even used the fatality, you know, breathing the fire. So it was just, it was great. That's by far the most nostalgia I've had experienced in this entire show. That was just perfect. The highlight of the episode for me easily was that bit. I wish we could have... Dedicated more time to that. That would have been nice, but oh well. I'll take what I can get, and that was that was great. But uh, yeah, we also had some real life battling with another player that just was very salty, very butthurt about losing. But that's just that's life for you, you know. Before the age of online gaming. But yeah, it's becoming very clear that Koharu likes Paru. Like it was fairly clear in the previous episode, but this episode, there's there's no room for any doubt. She likes him a lot. We had him, her giving him chocolates at his house. We had just him, her looking out the window at him playing and eventually going out to, to see how he is and a little bit disappointed that he wasn't there for her and all that. But yeah, that's definitely, that relationship is developing nicely. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, he's, he's mostly focused on video games, much to her dismay. <laughs> he kind of wishes he would give that sort of attention to her, but that's not going to happen. This is a video game anime after all. But, uh, yeah, the Valentine's Day stuff was interesting. Onizuka giving a chocolate head to the guy she likes, so that was fun. That was fun. Let's see. And, yeah, well, obviously when she came over, it was very similar to what happened with Akira. The mom being very fun, as usual. Very silly, bringing up her pancakes and all that. Very, very deja vu-esque situation. I figured I have more to say about the episode than this. I think there's just a couple other moments I want to talk about that I'm not sure what it was. I mean, just in general, I love Koharu a lot. She's a very fun, cute girl. You know, she's obviously different than Akira. She talks a lot more. So you can actually get to get into her head a lot more than you could with Akira, which I like a lot. Very different sort of dynamic with that character because of that. And yeah, just watching her lay in bed, blushing, thinking about him, and all that was very, very, very cute. Very cute. Yeah, I think that's all I really had to say on it. The mom was pretty crazy. A lot of snow. And Akira is the back, apparently, so... That'll be interesting. I wonder what kind of interactions Akira and Koharu will have with each other 
how our first reunion between Akira and Haru will go. You know, I have questions in that regard, so that'll be interesting to see. I do hope they play some more games I'm actually, you know, super familiar with. Like, seeing them play Super Mario Kart would be very, very cool. That'd be great, you know. That would, that would be really good, you know. Or Super Mario Brothers. But Super Mario Brothers 3 and Super Mario World were games I played a lot, too, in that same era. In same era, so that'd be cool to see as well. But it's mostly been fighting games, so I doubt it. Like, yeah, it's been... The vast majority of games in this have been fighting games, which makes sense, but yeah. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.